Why, hello everyone! Welcome to Playframe! And welcome to Shovel Knight! Yay! <laughs> I adore this game. Collection of games, I should say. Hello, my name's Dan, and we're gonna play Shovel Knight, because I've just been in a real retro mood lately, and, uh... Really, this is kind of one of the best retro games in existence, even if it is relatively modern and recent. But whatever, let's start. I can't wait. All right, let's start a new game. So for those of you who have not played this, it's basically the greatest NES game never made. <laughs> it is like an amalgam of all the best systems uh, that you might have encountered back in NES games back in the day, uh, except with some modern polish and some really good design. I, I think it is honestly better than any actual NES game that I can think of. It's a great experience and I highly recommend it. And there's four, no, five games packaged in this thing now. Four campaigns, each where you play a different character and also like a multiplayer Smash Brothers sort of thing. Uh, we're just going to do the Shovel Knight campaign here for now and not one of these others, at least not yet. I kind of do want to play these others later because uh, I don't remember these two at all and I've never played this one. So, but today we're going to start with this, because it's kind of like the main campaign story thing. So, uh, let's begin. Shovel of Hope, dig your way through the main story line. Go! <laughs> Man, I love this game. Uh, let's see. We'll go with Dan. And boy, between Undertale and Shovel Knight, we're really just, like, hitting all of the best soundtracks to come out in the last decade or so, aren't we? <laughs> uh, oh, this is a cool thing, too. I'm, I'm not going to do it, but it's an awesome feature that they added. Um, enter body swap mode. Before you begin, would you like to swap the bodies of any characters in the main cast? You can perform this action at any time in the pause menu. You can basically uh, gender swap and pronoun change all of the characters in the cast, at least in the Shovel Knight, Shovel of Hope campaign. And then, like they made custom pixel art for every character. It's really cool. It's an awesome thing that they did. We're, we're just going to do it vanilla here, but uh, it's a super cool thing they added. So uh, re I recommend checking it out sometime. Actually, um, the uh, Yacht Club posted like a whole long write up about their creative process for the body swap thing and for how they came up with the design for each character on their website. Highly recommend checking it out. It's an awesome read. Anyway, let's start the game. I've been babbling a bit here. Here we go! Ah. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken, a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. <laughs> Still in armor. I love it. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter. Look at all these good knight designs. Now the tower is unsealed and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin! Oh, it's so charming. Dig in, everyone. Here we are! Oh my goodness, this music is so good. <laughs> so for those of you who don't really know a whole lot about uh, this game and its development and the aesthetic it's going for, they have the developers essentially, like I said, aimed to create an NES title. Uh, and they have been pretty faithful to that. Like what you're looking at right now is not what an NES could render. This is definitely more uh, complicated technically than what an NES could do but it is kind of following the spirit of that aesthetic. They are staying close to the exact same 64 color palette that the NES had, although they did add a few extra colors in there because they found it was hard to do like varied skin tones given the palette they had to work with. So they added a few things. They've also done some other stuff like this four layer parallax scrolling happening in the background right now. And NES could not do that at all. <laughs> so they've uh, they added that in just because it looks nice. Also the widescreen and the HD output also obviously not something an NES could do. I think actually an NES signal resolution was about about the size of this square, I think. 
give or take. I've destroyed it. Anyway, we are Shovel Knight. We can jump. We can run. We can swipe with our shovel. We can strike down with our shovel and bounce on things. And that's how we get around. Also, we can crouch. Sort of. It's not actually very useful. But it does allow you to dance to the music. Which is the most important feature of all. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I highly recommend picking this up, by the way. You are getting, like, four or five games for the price of one. And they're all very good. Well, the ones I've played are all very good. Honestly, just this Shovel Knight campaign on its own is worth the price of admission. And all the other great stuff you get with it is just pure bonus. But yeah, I've been in a very retro mood lately. Oh no. Oh good, I made it. <laughs> Thought I was gonna miss. Whee! Ah. I like, uh, over the holidays, started dipping into... Ooh, dipping into uh, Mega Man titles, because I was... I really just loved... Mega Man games back in the day. Mega Man 2 especially. And uh, I found that playing those old Mega Man games with modern eyes, there's a lot about them that I don't like as much as I remember. There's still a, a bunch I adore, but none of them are what I would call perfect games. Shovel Knight is not exactly a Mega Man game, but it's got a lot of Mega Man DNA in it, and Shovel Knight's a pretty exquisite game, so if you're wanting a retro NES experience, Technically, this is not on the NES, but honestly, I think it's the best option available. It's a delight. So let's all enjoy some great oh, pixel art and jam out to some incredible tunes. I'm trying to identify what all, like, the NES sources of inspiration are for all of these systems. Because there's definitely some Mega Man here, kind of in, like, the scale of Shovel Knight relative to the level. Uh, and the fact that you play a whole bunch of levels themed after the boss you'll fight at the end. That's one of the best aspects of Mega Man. There's also some Castlevania DNA in here, though. And some uh, DuckTales DNA. There's some Mario 3 in the world map. It's just like a lot of the best NES games that were created all rolled into one fantastic experience. Mega game. <laughs> the ultra game of the NES. <laughs> you get the idea. Ooh, it's a secret. We gotta collect gems. It's how we get upgrades. Oh yeah, there's upgrades also. I didn't mention that. Ah! Man, we're jamming! Dance, everyone! Okay. Ah, a checkpoint. And actually, this is another really cool system with Shovel Knight. Um, I mean, if I die, I will come back to this point and respawn. And they've actually brought in a little bit of a Dark Souls thing, because everyone does, where uh, when you die, you lose a percentage of your gold, and if you can make it back to the spot where you were before, you can collect those little bags of gold and get your money back, which is fun. You can also, if you're feeling real gutsy and confident, you can break this for some extra gems, lose your checkpoint, but have the extra gems and just hope you don't die. Because <laughs> otherwise you get sent further back. It's a great little system. Ah. I love this. This is already hitting the spot. I don't know what put me in the retro mood. Maybe it was playing Donkey Kong with Dan Jones. That might have done it, actually. That playthrough's been a blast, too. Yeah. Yes, music! These are little collectibles that will, uh... get us some more funding. Which we need. There's so many little upgrades I want. It's kind of mandatory that you dance with Shovel Knight whenever you're waiting for something. What am I doing? Pardon me? Eh. Sneaking up on me. I love this knight's run. Look at that. Just jaunty. Hup, 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 hup. <laughs> Another secret, huh? And an enemy. 
It's been a while since I played this. I'm definitely gonna miss secrets. I'm just gonna let y'all know that up front. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get as many as I can find. Or as many as I'm skilled enough to get. It's actually quite a hard game. It's not nearly as hard as most actual NES games were. Because that's one thing that I uh, have found about a lot of old NES games, and it's kind of the thing that really puts me off of a lot of old uh, Mega Mans, as much as I adore them. Like, Mega Man 2 is my favorite NES game ever. But old Mega Man's got a lot of real BS difficulty in it. And Shovel Knight, I, in my opinion... Uh, ow. Oh no! <laughs> Shovel Knight, in my opinion, has a really good balance of, uh, let's see if we can get that money back. A, uh, it has difficulty, for sure. But it's, uh, hard to think of many scenarios in which that difficulty... ...feels unfair. Or where any, uh... ...there were any deaths that you couldn't have reasonably avoided. Like, that one was just me... ...taking a hit... ...that I easily could have dodged. If I was paying better attention. I would love to have that. Thank you. There we go. Don't fall. Don't fall. There we go. Oh, my, my money. Oh, oh no. Well, that's fine. I, I do need... There we go. Okay. Onward! Yep. Okay. <laughs> yep. There we are. Boy, I hope this is going to be fun to watch. I don't really... <laughs> I haven't actually done a whole lot of retro platformers here on this channel before. But I adore this one, so I'm going to have fun. That is guaranteed. Yep. Bounce forever. Yeah, this pogoing mechanic was from uh, the old NES DuckTales title, and was easily the best thing about it. Closely followed by the incredible music. Which this game also has. That's the thing that attracts me to Mega Man most of all, honestly, is just the Mega Man 2 soundtrack is incredible. And the fact that this game manages to... I'd say match it in quality is amazing. Mega Man 2 was the game I played as a kid that made me start actually paying attention to, to uh, game music, which is why I treasure it so much. Like, game music is just one of my favorite things now. And I'd enjoyed game tunes as a kid growing up, just an NES kid back in the day. But Mega Man 2 really, like, just earwormed into my brain permanently. I adored every track in that game, and it just... I was like, whoop! Boss fight. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later. The Cerulean Coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I've no... <laughs> what voice is this? I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses. Can't you see? This entire valley's been conquered by the Enchantress. And her invincible Knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel! <laughs> the Kefka laugh and everything. That's a little bit Super Nintendo, but I'll allow it. Ah! Boss, boss battle! <laughs> and this is a super Mega Man-style boss battle. Ah! I don't have a Mega Buster, but it... I have a shovel, and that's almost as good. Ah! I could have bounced that back at him, darn it. Ah! To battle! Eh! Eh! There we go. Eh! Ah, stop it! I and at you first. Eh! Stop it. Shoveling is my thing. No! Ah, darn it. I'm gonna get one of those back at you. Guaranteed. Just you wait. Eh. Stop it. Do it again. I dare you. Hey! Do it. Yeah! Ha ha ha! Gotcha, punk! <laughs> Yay! Victory! Oh, well, there he goes. And a respectable amount of cash for our effort. Now we rest. Ah. It's so beautiful. Like, it's hard to... It's hard to make the NES look beautiful. <laughs> with that limited palette. Some games managed it, though, and this game definitely does as well. Catch her! We must. Listen to that music, though.
<laughs> I'm awake. Uh, let's see. Safety, everyone. Okie dokie. We're off. And there's that Mario 3 for you. Listen to that music, though. This really gets that quality of the NES sound chip that I love. There's like this really punchy uh, sound to it. Like, I, I'm talking about Mega Man a lot here, but I adore how Mega Man music sounds on the NES. Like, there's lots of great arrangements and compositions on the Super Nintendo, but that sound chip just doesn't have the same sound quality to it, and I, as a result, I don't like any of it nearly as much as I do that, uh, just that classic Capcom NES sound, which, uh, ah, oh crap, what's his name? I know his handle. Vert is his handle. What's his name? Hang on, I'm looking it up. Jake Kaufman, that's it. Ah, I can't believe I forgot. Jake Kaufman's the composer of this game, and just, it did an incredible job. Uh, <laughs> which is all the more, like, cool to me, because, like, a Jake Kaufman was one of those early, was part of the early video game remixing scene way back in the day, with, like, a VG mix, and kind of back in the OC, like, early OCR days, when I was just starting to, like, pay attention to, uh, the video game remixing scene as well. Like, there's a lot about this game that just feels very close to my heart, and I, uh, I loves it. Let's go to town. Halt! No weapons. We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around. Oh, <laughs> that's no weapon. Just a shovel. You may enter then, and don't forget, press up to talk to everyone. Oh, that's a great idea. I'm gonna, starting with you. Cause no trouble, warrior. You got it. Hey, you. Have you ever seen sparkles rising from a bottomless pit? Those spots is where the real riches is. Noted. Ooh, you're interesting. No, but, uh, no, the, the, uh, okay. You, you're also interesting. You meet that old witch down in the juice bar? I think she tells fortunes, but she won't talk to me. Ooh, a juice bar. If you're getting stressed out, try fishing. You never know what you'll catch. That's good advice. I don't know how to fish. Hello. I remember before the Order of No Quarter, when we weren't afraid to walk around like this. <laughs> None of y'all look too nervous about it right now. Although I guess maybe you're just walking in this little space here, and that's why you feel safe. Ah. Boy, just, I love this walk. This run cycle. <laughs> it's so good. Hail, traveler. I'm but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets. My entire repertoire lays scattered across the land. If you ever find a music sheet, return it to me, and I shall reward you handsomely. Whoa, you have two music sheets. Magnificent. Take 500 gold for each. Yes. Wonderful. Let's see here. Oh, you found the rival. Black Knight has fine musical taste, should have studied composition, but then I suppose I'd be the one with a rival. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you anytime, just ask. Ah, yes, our jukebox. Hello. Ooh, you've got a pretty face. You should come visit often. Thank you. <laughs> and I will. Frequently. Anyone else of interest? You. Turkeys and apples can restore your life. I just found this out, so I'm telling everyone. <laughs> That's good advice. Where's that dear lady? You! You're, you're both... Have I... Uh, yes, I've spoken to you. Have I spoken to you? I'm sorry, but you're a bit too short for me. Fair enough. I am tiny. And moving on! Oh, you're great. I like you already. <laughs> ah, decisions, decisions. Should I extend my magic or health? Or just eat a tin can? Why not buy my meal ticket and help narrow my options? Sure. I will buy that. You got it. Visit the gastronomer to upgrade your health. That sounds great. Yes. Thank you. Very good. Um, you, I believe, are the gastronomer. A meal ticket. Hand it to me. I'll get to work on my best recipe. Yes. I'll dazzle your palate in no time or less. So bon appetit and pardon the mess. Good rhyme. <laughs> and good animations. All of them. Eat up! Oh, we have more life now. Good. Hello. Want more use out of your relics? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, I can increase your maximum magic. Good. Oh, but no relics yet. What? I can't... You have to find some relics. Chester, down the ladder. He always has the weirdest things. Wait, what was I doing? Hmm. 
<laughs> Sorry, I'll stop distracting you. Um, let's go down that ladder. Hello? Oh, so many people to talk to. Ah, uh, a new face. Dan dancers, acolytes, witches, goats. Everyone's welcome in here. Oh, good. Ooh, that Spectre Knight. If someone could defeat him, I would bestow upon them my greatest treasure. Oh, good. I'll do that. Oh, woe is me, the king of nothing. Not to rule, but my lone bar stool. King Knight sits on Pridemore's throne. That gilded goon, he'll get his soon. Is everyone rhyming here and I just didn't notice? Sorry, I didn't come prepared with rhymes. Double trouble, soil and shovel. My third eye knows your useless infos. <laughs> Excavatio! The number of dick piles you've dug is seven. Aurum Infiniosa. The amount of gold you've collected is 5,965. Thanato Refutatum. The number of times you've fallen in battle is one. Oh, yes. Temporum Perpetua. The total time you've spent adventuring is 18 minutes. I magically see all of your acts. Come back again for more useful facts. Thanks for helping me, kindly witch. I'm not a witch. <laughs> oh, I like this game. Ooh, hello. <sighs> I suppose peaceful solitude is too much to ask for. Well, as long as I'm stranded here. Shall we pass the time with a little game? I'll just need 100 gold first. Okay. All right, I'll conjure up some things and you can hit them toward the targets for points, okay? Oh, yes, good. All right, let's hit things towards targets for varying degrees of points. All right, we get three from the green. Eh, oh no. Eh. And I guess green's all we're gonna hit. Ooh, 10 from the reds. Whoa, and those scatter, so okay. Let's try to hit reds and try to, eh. Ooh, you know, I think there might be an accessibility mode that might allow me to reduce flashing in case that's making things rough for some of y'all. I'll check that after this round is over. Actually, maybe I can do it now. Ooh, I bet I can. Let's try. Uh, yes, accessibility menu and screen flash minimal. Yay, okay, good. You can also change screen shake and... I don't know what that is. Uh, and you can do the... Uh, um, nope, I guess not. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's the body swap thing. Okay. So yeah, you can change uh, the, like, gender or, like, uh, pronouns of all characters, or set them all to random, set them all to their default, set them all to their opposite, or just set them all manually. Is that not super cool? What a cool thing to do. Like, that took a lot of work, for sure. But how cool! Uh, like, again, I'll just leave this here on just kind of the vanilla original experience for now, but what a cool thing they did. I love that. Uh, okay. Anyway, resume. Right, we got a thing we gotta win. Gotta do better than I'm doing now. Getting some points. Need more. More tens. Eh, there we go. Oh, jeez. No, we're missing completely. Eh. No, missing. How do we do? You got 152 points. <sighs> well, color me impressed. Whoa! Money! And music! Hooray! That was worth our time. Let's see what's on this other side. <laughs> so many good characters. Okay, um... Hello. Psst, hey, blue guy. You wouldn't believe the merchandise I've got for you today. Why not have a look? Sure. Ooh, okay. Ooh, a fishing rod. Yes, we know about fishing now. Give me fishing rod. Thank you. All right, hold up and press X. Cast into a pit and wait for a bite. Keep an eye out for sparkly fishing spots. Oh, I will. Thank you. Now, um, psst, hey, blue guy, wouldn't believe, right. Uh, merchandise. Chaos Sphere, an orb of boundless combat potential. Don't know what it does, but I'll take it. Thank you. Uh, right. Give it a good throw. I'll try. So yes, this is the Castlevania type thing where you got relics, you can equip and use, and your magic gives you, like, limited uses of it. It's very good. Um, I'll... I don't know. Keep that equipped for now. Hello! Hello, fish friend! All hail the Troupel King! It, who? You've never heard of the Troupel King? Half trout and half apple! Pronounced like mouthful! He's one of the forest gods, here to help those in need. I'm telling the truth! <laughs> If you ever visit the Sacred Grotto, hold your chalice aloft, and the Troupel King will appear! 
As it happens, I have been entrusted to sell travel chalices to believers. Would you like one? Uh, yeah, I'm too poor, but yes, I would like one. I'll, I'll save up. Um, you. Croker. <laughs> hey, Shovel Knight, I know things are tough, but don't throw in the trowel. <laughs> Good little animation. Psh, that King Knight. You give him an inch, and he thinks he's a ruler. <laughs> I love he does his little throat croak after every joke. I traveled with some horse adventurers, but they were all so negative. <laughs> Good character. Um... Aha, I thought so. Give. I'm gonna turn these in, I'm going to have some money, and then I'll be able to get a triple whatever thing. I've forgotten about it already, but I want it. Hello! Oh, you look excited. I am too. Whoa, you have two music sheets! Magnificent! Take 500 gold for each, yes. Wonderful! Let's see here. Oh, you found Spin Ye Bottle! The client's only reaction was, Oh, it's okay, I guess. Whatever. Sorry, was it not brooding enough for you? Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you any time, just ask. Great, I have more money now. Also, can I hit this? Excellent. Can I hit this? No, that's fine. Anyway, I have money now. Good. Trouple guy. I have stuff. Money. I mean... Hello, fish friend. All hail the Trouple King. Hail! The king of fruit and fish. Long may his stem grow. I love the animations. Uh, I will buy the thing. Thank you. I have it now. A Troupel Chalice. A vessel for storing mythical eye core. But where to find it? Maybe we'll go by there before we wrap up for today. Oh, this is fun. Hello, everyone! <laughs> wow, Mr. Knight! Nice stick! Come on, let's play! Oh, we're gonna play hoop, huh? Uh, give me a sec. Are you really THE Shovel Knight? Prove it by digging up this dirt. You got it. Always happy... ...to meet a fan. <laughs> wow! Incredible! You really are the Shovel Knight! <laughs> so excited. Uh... Here's a secret. In Pride More Keep, keep going left first is right. Or go In Pride More Keep, going left first is right. That was... ...a confusing sentence. Anyone else? Ooh, let's bounce. Oh, or hit. Or both. I think you can get, like, something for keeping this chain going for a long time. I'm not good enough to do it. But doop, but doop, 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 ah! Dang. <laughs> or maybe I did do it, I don't know. Well, Mr. Knight, nice stick, come on. Okay, well, whatever. I, no, I was trying to talk to the other. Here we go. Whew, these buckets are heavy. Yes, I, I re realized that, and I... I'm very sorry for this, but I need the help. <laughs> Getting up here, you see. Thank you. Ah, more music. And money. Riches. Hooray. Um, you there. Shovel Knight, many trials await you. Don't despair. May each defeat strengthen your resolve. You got it. I'll resolve with the best. Now then, got one more music sheet to turn in, and then we'll get on out there, into the wider world of chivalry. Hello. Ooh, you have a music sheet, please. 500, right, wonderful. Let's see here. Oh, you found Pastoral. Having my music piped into shopping centers, I suppose it does pay the bills. <laughs> Very good. All right. Heck, we could maybe get ourselves another upgrade now. You know what? I'll hang on to the money. No, no, I won't, because I could lose it. I won't, I won't do that thing I just said. Oh, decisions, decisions. Should I extend my magic or health, or just eat a tin can? Why not buy my meal ticket and help narrow my options? Sure. Uh, visit the gastronomer to- Oh, that's much more expensive. Never mind. Well, I have money now, and relics. Can I, um, do something with you? Want more use out of your relics? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, I can increase your maximum magic. Good. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Boost maximum magic by ten points with this lovely tonic. Yes. Thank you! That's much better. Alright! Onward! Am I shouting a lot? Sorry, it feels in character. All knights seem like they should be shouting for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway. 
let's, um, before going to the next level, let's go ahead and drop on in here. I'm not certain, but I think we may have found the Trowpel King. Hello. Who has awakened me? Mortal, dost thou need aid? Aid me, please. I sense a Trowpel chalice. I can fill it with magical ichor. That's pronounced ichor. <laughs> Choose your ichor wisely. Ah, so red will refill all health and magic. Blue will make you invincible for 10 seconds. Could be useful for boss fights, especially. Or uh, yellow, absorb nearby treasure for 60 seconds. Hmm. Let's go with a classic red. Subjects, a new initiate joins us. The ceremony shall commence. Enjoy, everyone. The ceremony. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> Fish dance. <laughs> it's a good video game, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah! Fare thee well, shoveled knight. Return if thou hast need of my aid again. Will do. Nice to meet you. All right, then. Tell you what, everybody, we're going to go ahead and call it for today, and we'll be back tomorrow with more shovelry. Take care, and goodbye!